so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a basic character rig with the help of the rigify add-on so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and main important thing guys this is the inbuilt add-on of the blender which is so useful so if you want to do a basic character rig animation so you should watch this video till end so now let's start the tutorial so here you can see guys here i have one basic human character and now i'm just going to show you how you can add the bone how you can create a basic uh, rig structure and then how you can link your bone with your mesh and when you will move your bone so it will react your mesh will react according to your bone movement so now let's start it so here you can see guys when i will go to my amateur section so here you will see only one bone okay so this is our add section basically okay you will get this uh, add section pressing the shift a as well okay so here you can see guys uh, here we have only one bone it's called single bone so with the help of the single bone you can create your custom uh, rig structure as well but we don't need to do create our custom uh, rig uh, for a human character because we have a one inbuilt add-on it's called rigify add-on so first of all i'm just going to enable this add-on so for that i will just go to the edit preference and here i will just search the rigify and here you will get this rigging uh, rigify add-on and make sure you click this auto save preference and then you have to just cut this your preference panel okay and after that i will do again shift a and go to the my amateur section so now we have a lots of options here here we have an animals uh, structure as well bird cat horse and shark and wolf as well and we have a one basic human character and we have a one advanced uh, rig also so right now i'm just going to talk about the basic human rig okay so for that i'm just going to click this option and when you click on this option you will get a one human basic human structure so first of all i'm just going to scale this and going to uh, scale according to our model yeah something like that i think that's fine but here you can see guys right now we can't see our bone because it's behind to our mesh so if you want to see your mesh you have to just go your object data property and from here you will see the in front and when you click on this in front so your bone will be show in front of uh, in front of and in top of your model okay and no matter which view you are looking it will always seen as a top uh, layer okay so now I'm just going to the edit mode of this bone and then I'm just going to manage our bone uh, structure according to our human character. So now I'm just going to uh, edit these bones structure according to our mesh. So for that I will just go to the my edit mode and then I'm just going to move these bones something like that here you can see something like that. I'm just going to join the all bones to our uh, mesh joint something like that okay so i'm just going to do very quickly so here you can see guys we are all done okay we manage our bone according to our mesh so now i'm just going to link our bone with the mesh because here you can see right now if i will go to the my pose mode and if i will do any kind of deformation in our bones so it will not affect it to our mesh so for that what you have to do you have to just go to your object mode then you have to just select your mesh first then you have to select your bone then you have to just press the control p and here you will see the set parent all direct box so here you have to just click the with the automatic weight so we are just uh, link our mesh with the bones it's, uh, with the help of the automatic weight option so when you click on it okay so sometimes it's taking lots of time and sometimes it's uh, happening very quickly because it's depending on your uh, system configuration but right now we done how we can check it so we have to just select this bone then we have to just go to your pose mode just move your bone something like that and here you can see so our mesh is uh, deforming according to our bone and here you can see it's happening very nicely if i will move like this and i'm just going to turn it something like that and then i will just move this one to this and something like that okay then i will just move this one to the front and this one to back side So here you can see it's 
deforming very nicely so that's how we can link our bond with the character and then we can give any kind of pose whatever pose we want to give okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys